Hey guys, I just wanted to hop in here real quick and say thank you to everyone who has liked, commented, subscribed, and shared. And because it is the season of giving, I did want to put my tarot in my manifestation course on 15% off. If you want to be a part of this sale and get it at a discount, because I'm not sure when I'll do this again, you can get that down below. The code is down there. And there's also payment plans that they offer on that website as well. If you really can't afford it at this moment, but you still want to jump on the bandwagon and get it. And don't forget about the giveaway at 30,000 subscribers, guys. All you have to do is like, comment, subscribe, and share. And as soon as we hit that, I will be doing 15 days of giveaways. All right, that's it. Have a blessed day, guys. So today we're gonna do a twin flame update. Let's just go ahead and jump right into it. I'm feeling a lot of your twin flames have recently decided to go in a new direction, wanting freedom, wanting the freedom and power that this connection will give them. They know that, but choosing it has been hard. Really weighing out weighing things out. I'm seeing a pros and cons list. Somebody could like to make a pros and cons list. I'm definitely seeing someone saying, okay, if I go towards Pisces, what would the pros be? I would have them in my corner. I would have them by my side. I would have their support, whether it's mentally, spiritually, financially, emotionally. I just heard there's a lot of pros, but there's some cons. What do I have to leave behind? For some of you, it's who do I have to become? And it isn't that they feel like they need to be someone different or turn into someone different or morph into someone different. It's that they know to align with you. They have to do different, be different, show up different. The way things have been going has not been working and I feel like they've been keeping a lot to their self I just heard someone say red flag <laughs> like and that's a red flag you know if you do want to have someone to be there for you emotionally mentally spiritually and financially you can't keep things to yourself definitely throwing their self into things here in the past here recently throwing their self into a lot of things that they feel like the more effort they put in, the less they get back. So this could be money, this could be friendships, this could be anything. Really reevaluating those. <clears throat> Wanting to make things right. This person could also be practicing moderation. What is this twin flame feeling? What, what's going on? I could be asking for assistance right now. Or there could be someone who's been assisting them, an external party. This could be a karmic partner, a friend, a family member, work people. Feeling like they have other obligations. Missing you. Really in a nostalgic energy. There could have been somebody jealous of you in general or someone jealous of this connection. There was someone that is tied to this person who they could have felt obligated to or tied to. They could have trusted this person. <clears throat> Reliving that past. Really thinking a lot about the memories with you. Recognizing when the storm come in and what exactly happened. What took place to get you guys to where you're at. Feeling like there could have definitely been someone... <clears throat> that stirred the pot. I'm just going to say it. Maybe neither one of you has spoke this. Maybe there's just been an unspoken knowing that there's more going on than just you and I. But this person's missing you. This person, again, has been asking for assistance here, especially here recently, about this situation. I feel like for some of you, this person is at a point in their life where they're saying, hey, take everyone out of my life who does not serve me, who does not have my best interest at heart. And I really feel like for this person, and if you've been in that situation, you know exactly how this person's feeling. I feel like this person was like, oh my God, I can't believe the people that are being <clears throat> stripped from me or the true colors that are being shown. 
recognizing that maybe there were some sort of situations or people that they were bound to, partying with, connected to, that could have definitely had some sort of karmic. There could be another person actually watching you. That external party could be watching you. Again, we have envy. That person could have been trying to gather some sort of information about you in the past as well. Trying to keep tabs on you. Trying to figure out what was happening. What was going on. <sighs> hmm. <clears throat> this person is definitely at a place where they feel like they're at a, at a crossroads where I have to make a decision. Should I stay or should I go? I can stay where I've been and I'm going to continue to get what I'm getting or I can go towards you and see if something differently will come. Really, again, thinking a lot about the past. This person could also be at a point where they're trying to figure out maybe what path you would take if they come in. Who is this external party? Let's see what these are. Yeah, karmic challenges. Look at this. It could have come in for you guys to level up. To not let other people, places, or things get in the way. There was an opportunity. Gathering info. Trying to figure you out. Now they're in a place where they're trying to figure you out. But whoever this external person was... I feel like they did see success in this connection and they did not like it. They seen power in their hands and I feel like they took advantage of that. Now, <clears throat> remember, this could be a mom or a dad figure who's like, no, you're not going to be with them. This could be someone who comes up to them and goes, hey, did you know what so-and-so said about you? And it could be a blatant lie. This could be someone who would come up to you and say, hey, did you know so-and-so is doing this or this is going on? And you could have found out or figured out later that you should have never trusted that person to begin with. But there was some sort of challenge here that needed to... Finish. One of you could have had to go through this for you to understand or find your life path. For you to get to a point where you're going to find your destiny or it helped you find your destiny. Okay? Getting rewarded for going through this. Because for a lot of you, I feel like you don't understand. I don't understand why I had to go through that. Recognizing the universe guarded you in that. And now they're wanting to celebrate you getting through it. A lot of you are going to be getting a lot of abundance, a lot of windfall abundance. This could be people paying for your coffee, people paying for your food, checks coming in in the mail, a raise at work. I mean, it's going to be things where you're like, what is happening? But whoever this is, this person's feeling wounded, feeling defeated. Feeling indecisive, contemplating on what they want to do, recognizing the things that could have happened in the past that could have <clears throat> definitely challenged this connection more than it needed to be. But I do feel like that challenge was faded. We had to get to a point where you two didn't work against each other. You worked together, recognizing each other. It's like people were trying to make you feel unsafe with one another. And it wasn't that. It was this. It was that that person. And it could have definitely made this twin flame closed off towards you, defensive, guarded. They could have got very blocked off when it come to you. Somebody could be a CEO, is what I just heard. Restrictions, learning, karmic lessons. A lot of you could have had to mature in that situation. Getting restricted, having to fight against people's opinions and comments and thoughts and what they're wanting, finding a way to build a structure with one another and learning from, the, from those lessons so you can become more mature. So how is this twin flame viewing you at the moment as someone who's very strong and their beliefs are more your mo moise? <laughs> I'm struggling. They see you as someone who's very strong and someone who's very firm in your values and your morals. 
you are who you say you are. You could be a very traditional type person, whether this is an, a, a religion or the way that you approach connections and just life in general. Hold on. Oh, wow. They view you as someone who's very mysterious. Someone who has a powerful intuition is what I just heard. They could be losing a lot of sleep about either not accepting an offer, something here to do with an offer. Again, we have a lot of indecision, wanting to bring in love, wanting to come back around, thinking a lot about the past. Unsure what to do. Feeling like this was a strong connection. Feeling like they missed the way that they felt with you. A lot of you have definitely either got promoted or got different opportunities since you and this person has been separated. And it makes you feel different. Maybe about yourself and what you're wanting. How is this person viewing you? They view you as someone who... So, there is a question mark around your stability. What do you have going on? Who do you have going on? Also unsure if you would maybe want to build something with them. Scared of being left out. They do feel like that they could have left you out in the past. Some of you could have spoke about wanting to build some sort of stability here with this person. Viewing you as someone who got left out. The person who wasn't chosen. But wanting to give to you equally. But there's something here with the moon that this person doesn't know 150% what you're feeling. So, if you're going to go ahead and put the comments, you know I've cussed them out and I've told them I can't stand them. Then guess what, baby girl? Guess what, baby boy? This reading ain't for you. Whoever this reading is for, this person doesn't know how you feel. They know what you want, but they don't know how you feel since everything is crumbled, since all of this has took place, since these contracts have been done. Karma and the debts, all of that has leveled out, and you're getting rewarded for how you handled this situation. But they're a little confused because you have a mystery here. What are you up to? What are you doing? You know, you're not knocking down my door telling me that you love me and you want to be with me. Losing a lot of sleep over wanting to make this change and transformation. Why do they all of a sudden want to give to you equally? Because they view you as someone who wants to give equally. You want to build something with someone. You want something traditional. <clears throat> there could be a lot of unspoken here with the moon. We haven't really sat down and put it on, on paper with pen about what we absolutely have to have in a connection. So that's interesting. But definite equal give and take here. There is no, there is, there is no unsure what you want. They know what you want. You want equal give and take. How do they feel about that? Thinking a lot about the past. Reminiscing a lot on the past. Feeling like they left you out. Feeling like they didn't give you what you want, you needed, what you deserved. So you had to bring some sort of change and transformation and maybe put up a boundary. Put up a wall. Ugh. How do they feel about the fact that you wanted equal give and take and they kind of missed out? Feeling like they want to build some sort of maybe legacy with you. Reminiscing a lot on the past, though. Reminiscing about something here to where they gave investment. There's some sort of devil energy with investment. So, they've invested in some sense, form, or fashion before. And I don't feel like it worked out for them. For some of you, this is definitely someone who's been married. It doesn't have to be. Just because you haven't been married doesn't mean you've not been through something that's traumatic and devastating. Reminiscing a lot on that. Why are they thinking about that, though? Because oh, they want to move forward, but there's still some hesitation. And I feel like maybe time can help that, to be honest. So now they're thinking, feeling like they were invincible for a while until you saw them. There's something here. Yeah, that's what I was about to say. There's something here about you make me want to show up differently. And that's what this juggling energy is about. 
is because they're feeling so conflicted with their self. At one point, I knew for certain what I didn't want. And now I'm questioning that. Now I'm unsure what I want or what I thought I knew to be true for me. Feeling a lot of sadness and disappointment and maybe even regret about what they actually worked on. What they put the time and the investment into. This could have been someone who decided, you know, I don't want to date. I just want to hang out with friends. And look, as I, yeah, there's heartbreak energy here. Very, very heavy regret. You stay heavy on my mind is what I just heard. Why are they thinking about you so much? Feeling like they didn't see you. Feeling like they didn't see what you were offering. Not wanting to maybe... There could be an energy here as well where they didn't want to feel the overwhelming energy of their emotions. At one point, this person felt like having emotions and sharing emotions was too much. It is so much too much that I'm going to act like it's not a reality. This is someone who fakes it till they make it kind of energy, but we never made it. I can fake all day that I don't care. I can fake all day that I don't want to be around you and I, everything just is what it is, but the past keeps coming up for me. There's a reason that I'm missing you. There's a reason that I'm staying in the memories, in the nostalgic energy of you. Heavy energy of nighttime though. Heavy energy of nighttime, possibly watching you at night, keeping tabs, trying to dig out some sort of information. Someone was definitely envious of you, though, but not wanting to maybe carry the burden of what they felt was their emotions. Why are they having so much regret? Something to do with. I don't like this. They're wanting to reach out, but they really don't like the way that they handled the past. Feeling like that wasn't the best version of them. Feeling like you definitely got their ego in the part of them that really wanted control at any cost. Why are they wanting to talk now? Four of Wands. They want to talk about building something and investing. Why now? Why now? There's an energy here of you've definitely... Maybe you haven't. This person recognizes you as someone who's closed the chapter. You've closed the book. But this person hasn't. I'm still on that chapter. I've got, I've got the pencil in my hand and I want to continue to write our story. Wanting to come in and offer some sort of stability... Wanting to invest, feeling like this isn't over, feeling like they can't get past it. They've been feeling very discontent by not choosing you or choosing love. Wanting to maybe go out. This is someone who would reach out and if you were like, no, I don't want it, they would be like, okay, but just give me one date. Just give me one date to show you that I'm serious when I say I miss you. I'm serious. What are they going to be hiding? Some sort of truth. There could be some sort of truth here. What they're going to be hiding is possibly how, one, much they missed you while you guys were separate, but two, how the people that they maybe invested with didn't compare. This person's not going to look at you over dinner or over a drink and go, hey, I just want you to know that I've been dating and it has fucking sucked. Like, I cannot stand these people. I love being able to talk to you. Please just pick my brain. Like, that's not the way this person's going to show up. But that's how they feel. Not wanting you to know why they're coming back for a second chance. And it has everything to do with a new beginning. A new beginning with truth and clarity. Wanting to be able to show up and be protected. A lot of self-reflection here. Maybe even self-reflection about how they've been showing up. Wanting to still come in with that passion. 
But the Knight of Wands can sometimes be an in and out energy, not really thinking too much about what he's doing or what he's after. Wanting to communicate, wanting to make things fair by working on this. You could definitely get some sort of apology about the past. But I still see maybe some sort of fear when it comes to why this person's investing with you. They tell you to use your intuition. Some of you are going to feel a little weary when it comes to trusting this person and what they say that they're here for. Yeah. They could come during Mercury retrograde, y'all, because we have Mercury right here, and then we have communication texts, phone calls. News will be on the way, and then we have apology. Definitely in some sort of separation. Feeling heartbroken, longing for you. This person, for some of you, could be going through some sort of divorce at the moment. Feeling like they're going on a new path. Getting a lot of breakthrough clarity which is going to lead to the communication to you wanting to make plans with you. But again, they're not going to come in and go, the last however long has sucked, but it has. Well, yep. Seeing the truth. This person's seeing the truth. So should, what should you do? Should you trust this person? Okay. Inner child wounding. Bleh. This person could definitely be needing to recognize their wounded inner child. There could be something you see inside this person that makes you want to help them, makes you want to heal them. Needing to ask yourself, why do you want to show up for someone when they can't even show up for their self like that? And be honest with yourself. Because this person's going to come in and take clear action towards you. But I feel like there's also something here where this could be fated to come back in for you to close a cycle with them. Not necessarily get back with them. I feel like the universe is also wanting you to know that this person does also have a tendency to conform to what they think is needed from them. And what you want. Um... And you have to ask yourself, is there long-term security here? Is this a stable romance? Or am I going to always be trying to find some sort of balance and some sort of flow in this connection? Some of the best advice I can give when it comes to love is if something feels chaotic and worrisome, Choosing that person feels like a trigger response is coming out, then you don't need to choose that person. When you choose someone or you take them back, that shouldn't then be you getting on a mode of, okay, but who are you texting? What are you doing? Are you going to do that again? Because if so, all you're doing is putting yourself back in an environment that's not necessarily healthy for you. And we're not learning what we need to learn in that. So what's their next action? Wanting to come in and be emotionally open. It's been a long time coming. They're going to want to offer love. But here's the thing. They're telling you to use your intuition. Because I still feel like this person with the Seven of Swords and the Five of Swords might not be coming in from a fully healed place. They could want to collaborate with you by all means. But there's also something here where they're telling you, yes, this person has a path that they have to choose. But you do too. Just because someone comes into you doesn't mean that you have to accept them or take them. And that's where your juggling comes in. Because I feel like um, you're going to ask yourself, is this my happiness? Can I be happy with this person when I'm having a bad day? When I'm having a hard month, when I feel like the world's crumbling down, is this person going to make it worse or are they going to make it better? And a lot of us have a tendency to get in a connection with people who will make it worse just because we want them. We want to be wanted by them. 
that's not love. That's not love. So I feel like, yes, they will be coming, but it's also you needing to ask yourself, what is their into what, 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 are, what does your intuition tell you when this person comes towards you? Does your ears peek up like a dog waiting to hear that one thing that's going to come out of their mouth wrong? So you can be like, aha, I know what you're here for. Working less will help in strengthening. Working less will help strengthen your relationships. Yeah, so wanting to strengthen this connection, wanting to apologize. Okay, but they're telling you to take it slow. <coughs> Excuse me. For some of you, there is a lot of chemistry, but it might just be a passion only connection, which is why they're telling you to take it slow when this person comes back in. Here's the thing. We can love our twin flame. It is someone who mirrors us. They're a lot a like they're a lot like us. But if we're willing to accept someone who hasn't fully done the work like we have, it can hold us back. And again, it's asking yourself, am I saying yes to this person cuz you're finally wanting me or am I saying yes to you because I really feel like we can be happy? So, let's get a card on that. We got a few. Yeah. They're disappointed. They're ready for change. They're ready for transformation. They're ready for investment. They've been thinking a lot about it. What does their investment consist of? Okay, communication. Letting you know what's happening. Okay, I see you being emotionally open. Possibly even a little guarded, maybe feeling a little confused, feeling like there's a lot of there's a lot of paths this connection can go down. So I see you being open minded. I see you saying, you know, I'm not gonna get my hopes up with this person because every time I get my hopes up, I regret it. I see you being it's it's like you're gonna say, Yeah, I'm really glad to hear from you, but I'm just a little unsure where we're going with this. So what exactly are you wanting? And they're going to tell you, you know, I've not been satisfied. I want some sort of change. I'm ready to shake things up. You guys could travel together. You could spend time together. There's going to be a lot of passion and chemistry. But it might not be something that you're actually going to want to invest in for 20, 30, 40 years. Yeah. Your intuition is going to tell you that something's off. What is that? Feeling like there's still something in the dark you don't know. Having the strength. You're wanting some sort of balance and healing. Wanting to take a leap. You're wanting justice. So this person's going to want to invest with you. But I also see a lot of fear. Okay, this could be someone who's going to come back in and want to be with you. But this person could want to be with you and stay single. So this could be someone who's like, hey, we're friends. You know, I'm really into you. But let's stay friends and just kind of get to know one another. I see after some time you feeling like, okay, this isn't really fair to me though. I've taken a leap to balance this and heal this, and you're putting me back in a position where, well, you can take seasons or years. Like, no. So it does show that maybe you're going to need to remain hopeful, remain strong, and shoot for the stars. You're going to have to have that strength to say, well, you're not giving me clarity. You're not giving me truth. So I'm going to hold back too. And I'm not saying play tip for tat. But if someone's going to come in and say, hey, let's just be friends, okay, that's fine. But that doesn't mean that I'm going to cook dinner for you. That doesn't mean you're going to get this booty on a platter every time you want it. Like, they don't get wifey or husband privileges. So whenever this person comes in, make sure that you're in a place where you understand the dynamic before you go putting yourself in a compromising position. And I see you possibly doing that. What did I just say? I want to be more than friends. Exactly. Not wanting to know if you're investing in other people. 
I don't know what comes next. Wondering how you would maybe feel about this. They miss seeing you. Feeling like they broke your heart. I can't quit thinking about you. I won't let you down. Yeah, here, here's the thing. We don't share the same values. That's what I'm saying. You guys could actually find out after dating for some time that it's just like, you know, we're different people. Although we have this insane connection and I feel like you're my twin and they are. When it comes down to what you want from your life and who you are as people, what you find to be important to you, there's a disconnect. All right, and it could end up leading into some sort of disappointment because there could be a cycle that's actually going to end up ending or being completed, and there could need to be healing again. So just be careful to what point you open yourself back up to this person until you know exactly what their intentions are and where they're wanting to go. Because I do see, again, you know, let's give this a try. It's like we're both on the same page, and finally... But there's still something that I feel like this person can't let go of. It's it's who they are down to their core. Again, it's a value. And it could have been something that they were taught. And you just can't get past it. Okay. I think we're going to leave that here. Yeah. Have a blessed day, guys.